Well, today is the official start of our 2023 Clear the Shelters campaign. NBC stations across the country are teaming up with hundreds of shelters this August. It is a nationwide pet adoption and donation campaign to help animals in need. Absolutely. This is the happy month around <laughs> News 2 we when it. we get to make sure that animals end up in the homes of caring families. News 2's Hannah Powers is hosting an animal adoption event tonight in downtown Charleston. She is captain of canines tonight and she joins <laughs> us live right now. Hannah, tell us more about cocktails and canines. We are very excited about this initiative. Hi, Carolyn, Aaron. Well, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me talk about this event all week around the office. We're so excited to kick off Clear the Shelters Month, August 1st, right here at Vintage Lounge in downtown Charleston. Joining me right now, we have JJ from Pet Helpers. She's a familiar face. You've seen her on Pets on too. And she brought the goods today. We're talking almost 10 puppies here on site that will be available for adoption starting at 6 p.m. So JJ, almost 10 years now of NBC partnering up for Clear the Shelters. Tell me a little bit about why we do this this time of year and why it's so important. Well, it's so important because summer is when we have the most amount of animals and the fewest amount of adoption. So thankfully, NBC has partnered with us to be able to support all of the shelters across the United States and helping this, um, these babies find their forever homes. And it's so important for us. Since this campaign started in 2015, 860,000 animals have been placed in homes across the country just this one month. We're trying nationwide to reach a million adoptions this year, and I think our chances are looking good. I'm hoping so. We sure have plenty at the shelter to be able to fulfill some of that goal, so anything anyone can do, just we have resources to help you if you need help, but anything to help them find their forever homes would be tremendous. And talking about resources, JJ, you know, a lot of people already have a pet inside the home. We have lots of animal lovers here in the Lowcountry. Maybe you don't have space for one more, but that's why we're also asking for donations this year, and we will be able to do that tonight on site. So the party's from 6 to 8 p.m. Carolyn, Aaron, I know we're hoping for a big crowd. And Carolyn, I know that you've actually adopted several animals over the years as well yourself. I most certainly have. Mike and Kirby, we are very proud rescue parents from Charleston Animal Society. And we know that for those who may not be able to adopt, Maybe they can foster. As you said, Hannah, maybe folks can make a donation. We are certainly animal lovers here at News 2. We are so excited about this and really proud of you for leading this initiative. But again, this is the month we will be tapping into uh, the resources in our community throughout the month, and we just want everyone to get involved and care for their animals. Well done. Absolutely. It's going to be a fun month of storytelling and, of course, adoption. So we're here right now, Vintage Lounge on King Street in downtown Charleston, 6 to 8 p.m. Please, please stop by. Just come say hey. Meet the puppies. Yep. We'll be here all night. All right. Back to you guys. 